first of what I expect to be many videos explaining uh, the functionality of various aquaponic systems. Uh, today I'm demonstrating auto siphon. Uh, this auto siphon is just a little bit of plumbing. And right now the water is flooding in the biofilter. It's just beginning to trickle here over. Uh, it's just the level is what, what, what it's about. So as the biofilter fills up with water, the water level rises until here it's just starting to trickle over. And it takes a minute, but uh, once the water level rises high enough in the biofilter, you'll uh, see what happens when it actually starts the siphon. Um, the purpose of the auto siphon is because it causes reciprocating action in the biofilter, so it's constantly flooding and draining. We're still only using one water pump. Um, from the lowest point in the system up to the highest point in the system. Uh, and here you see the siphon just starting. And uh, as the siphon really gets going, it sucks the water level down. Now the water, the rate of water outflow from the biofilter exceeds the rate that the water is coming into the biofilter, resulting in it draining down. Now, it's going to drain down until it hits the air break. The air break is the, there's two critical elevations with the auto siphon. There's the, vert the, there's the flood, there's the top of the cycle, which is set by this piece of plumbing here. And the bottom of the cycle is set by this little air tube. So as the water now is draining out of the biofilter, it's going to get down to about this level here. And uh, at that point, it'll suck air up this little tube, uh, resulting in breaking the siphon. And you'll see what happens here once it gets to the bottom. Uh, because auto siphons, especially smaller ones, can be kind of finicky in that they don't always start reliably and they don't always break reliably. You kind of have to tune them in terms of the amount, volume of flow you have and the size of the pipe and you know, the various dimensions to suit your particular application. So uh, you just kind of have to tune them. Uh, they're probably, you know, as really into fluid dynamics, I'm sure there's a way to calculate it, but uh, this here is a three inch pipe that I'm using. I'm using four inch pipe everywhere else in the system, at least almost everywhere else I'm using four inch pipe in the system. The idea that we use large pipe is uh, because of biofouling and aquaponics, everything grows. And so with the larger pipes, uh, it's easy to keep it clean and prevent any of the pipes from clogging up on you. But here in the auto siphon, I dropped it down to the three inch pipe uh, just because it seemed like I, this is the biggest auto siphon I built. And now it's starting to suck air up here in the air break, you see. And uh, by sucking the air up into the top, what's the water level? Now you can see the water level here uh, because this is a clear PVC pipe. And the water level everywhere in the biofilter is the same because it's all open top and they're plumbed in together through the bottom. So now the water level everywhere in the biofilter is right here, you can see it and it's going to uh, flood uh, because the water is still flowing in uh, the inflow to the biofilter. And so now we're back to the flood cycle. It's going to flood back up until it gets to the top. And uh, I guess if you want to see it again, you can watch the video from the beginning. Uh, have a nice day. Aloha.